hello everyone uh welcome to our uh, devilon studio yeah in this tutorial i'll be showing you how you can toggle uh how you can toggle your password how you can show or hide your password like most uh login or sign up pages are doing uh this right now so just have to learn it so now it's a really really simple project so uh it, it won't take much time so now let me show you so let's say uh, enter some password okay as you can see you see this color red so when it is uh, in password state it will be what green so now this is what uh, we're going to be building so without wasting much of your time uh let's get started so now go back to your uh react app if you don't have a react app you can create one but i'm sure you already have a react app so now uh okay uh, we will be needing uh, react icons or any uh, uh, if you have any package uh that, that can give you the i icon or you can as well use a checkbox you get so now we need the div and input tag uh spend with the so let me import the high high con fa high from react icons for slash fa okay so the input the type will be uh will be password by default please do that so Your password and um, so let's add the high icon here okay so let me start our hat npm start so now uh, i don't want to bore you with the css i already have the css file created already so just basic reset with over pixel overflow within uh background color uh display flex and this two uh, to center align our our divs our text so the container the pdw build the container border like the way i did this is you know okay now if, if, if you see the input tag i said background color was transparent and the border of zero so it is this container this so let me import the css file i want to show you something Slash so now it is this container that we have the pwd container class this we have the container okay so yeah so it is that pwd container that we house like that we serve as a container for this input and this span so i set the border to the two pieces two pieces solid and white the border color to be white padding font size so like it just basic css okay so let me let me see what we have okay oh let me change uh, the title of the uh of the page you can go to public index of html and change the title where is it toggle password visibility okay since this is okay okay oh yeah yeah so it's looking good it's looking good to me yeah so now okay let's start at uh, functionality so what i'm gonna be doing here is when you click when you click on this icon i want to be able to, uh, to change the type of this input from password to text yeah that's what you're going to be doing so let me collapse this let me collapse this yeah we'll be using just a file just one file okay. what's this okay yeah so now let's, let's add an on click events to this uh 
i icon so now we can and click okay so now like the way you can do this using vanilla js is by doing what uh getting like drawing this input element drawing it by using document or query selector input and you know we have the set attribute method so you can set the attribute from type to text when you click on this button so now but uh, uh we don't want to use document or query selector in uh in react so one way we can select our element is by using the use ref hook yeah by using the use ref hook you have to import that from react so now now we const uh input ref equals to use ref yeah so now you have to add it here as a okay i'm making reference to you input ref so now we have successfully uh draw this from the dom okay so now you know i told you that we got input ref just like document or query selector dot current dot what set attributes set attributes from what attribute of what of type to what to text so now let's try this out let's click on this as you can see we have set the attribute of this input from type of password to text by clicking on this button so now I like as you can see uh, but you see we can't toggle like we can't toggle it back to be a password let's refresh let's refresh we have to make it so that we can you see we can't toggle it back so that's pretty uh, simple so let's use the state set click to use state okay so use state to be false like the initial state will be false so what i want to do now is when you click on this you should set click to what to true so now so uh, we're gonna uh, check yeah uh, i'm using ternary operator whereby what when clicked is what strictly equals to force then do this helps it should be what it should be a type of password it should be a type of password so let's see this so when you click on it what it is what true you see we can only toggle once let's see that so initially when you click on it it is true so when it is as you can see so if you click back we can only toggle once that's because what it is true now if you check the state now it should be true like if you try to console of the state you get true so you have to uh change this to what inverse of click like whatever clicked is it should be the word the inverse so now you'll be able to toggle as you can see i can now toggle my uh my input so let's refresh You see, you see, so now it's a, uh, it's a pretty simple project. Okay, the way I did uh, the color here, so uh, that was uh, style that's color that's what if clicked is equal to true, then the color should be what green, else the color should be red. So let's see. Wait. Is that something here? Oh no, it should be uh force. It should be force, yeah. So let's refresh. Let's refresh. Okay now so we are secured now. 
they are secured but when you expose your password as you can see you are no more secured you are secured no more secure you are secured no more secure so uh guys uh that will be all for uh this tutorial please if you uh, like, enjoy this like if this helps you please make sure you uh, leave a like and subscribe i'll see you in the other video thank you